friends, welcome back to the show. It's a rainy, blustery day here in Central Florida, and we're heading to the north part of town to a condo building to go check on a leaking shower head. So let's go check it out. like a lot of these jobs we don't know what we're up against yet and I'm not sure how much talking I'll be able to do so just pay attention and let's go check it out Ooh, there we go I've got the water off to the condo we're gonna need to take these handles and the stems out of here so I can d identify what type of valve this is and we can replace the parts inside. Yeah, those are stuck on there pretty good. Might have to get a pair of channel locks on there. Whoop, there we go. There's one. Good luck. Hopefully these things aren't stuck on here. Let's get the wrenches on and see if we can get them stems out. Yes, 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 yes. Victory. Whew, come on, baby. Oh, yes. Let's try the second one. Come on, we need a little bit of luck here. Oh, success. So the plumbing gods were definitely with us. Let's get our little light on and check inside there and see how those seats look. Not too bad. Let's see, maybe we might be able to take and get them out of there too. All right, we're heading back down to the van and stuff. And the reason why is because we want to identify what type of valve this is. And it's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this video because I did a video like this a few months ago and I had a lot of people keep asking me the same question about how I found the book where these parts are located. Let's go to the van and I'll show you again. You're working on one of these two or three handled tub shower valves. Never rely on the handle as your choice to identify what type of valve it is. Over the years, handymen, and other people could have replaced those handles with something else that fit on there. You always need to get the water turned off and get those stems out of there. And I'm gonna show you the book once again, like everybody keeps asking me of how I identify these parts. Central Components Company. If you wanna find a way to get a booklet like this, right here are the numbers. 1-800-882-7783, as well as a fax number. And that's Central Standard Time. Call and ask them to send you a book, even if you got to pay for them. This is my plumbing Bible. Now let's look up what type of valve that this thing came out of. Now this booklet is packed full of all the goodies, all the stems, all the trims, and everything that's been made back since the beginning of plumbing. In my experience, by looking at this handle, as well as those stems, where are they right there? I'm going to take a guess that this is made by Seiko, just by that design and stuff. And we're going to look and see if we can't find this under Seiko, and then see if we can match up and if these indeed are the correct stems that go for the Seiko brand. All right, we have Seiko pulled up here. And look here. See that handle? Look at this handle. Looks pretty darn close. Now we need to match up them stems. Go ahead and put one of them up next to it. Look closely right there at the pattern of that stem. Then look at what we have. 
I say we have a winner. The only thing that looks a little different on this one is it looks like they're displaying this for a three handle because that looks like it may end up being for a diverter, which this is not for a tub shower, it's just two handle. But I'm looking at the thread patterns as well as the gapping and the packing nut on here. This is indeed a Seiko brand. And I just happen to have one of those kits on my van. So let's go up, see if it's possible if we could pull those old seats out of there and then make the repair and get these people's water back on. I'm gonna spend a whole lot of time messing with those seats inside of there. Either they're gonna come out easy or they're not gonna come out. They didn't look like they're shot. They didn't look like they're porous or have any gaps in there, uh, creating any kind of a uh, void for the water to leak. Uh, this is why I think those shower head was leaking. Check the stems out here. There's still rubber that's present, but this one looks like it's really wore down to nothing. And we'll talk about this after we make the repair of ways of helping these things to last a little bit longer down the road. Oh, so you see that? Got it to break loose. That's the seat we're trying to get out. Nice and easy. There she is, the golden nugget. I'll see if we can get the second one out. Oh, did you hear that? Yes, sir. <laughs> Only gods are with us today, baby. Oh, yes. Beauty. Let's inspect these seats. This one looks a little bit suspect. Look at that. Look at this little area right there. It's worn out. So that seat actually is bad. That one doesn't look as bad, but that is definitely why that thing was leaking. Let's go ahead and put the rest of this new stuff together. All right, we got the new seats. Let's go ahead and put them in. Nice and easy, don't cross thread nothing. Oh yes, just like butter. And then the second one. And we'll give that just a little bit of a snug. The stem. Put that in and tighten it by hand first. And I'll show you what you need to do afterwards. Let's get both of these stems in here first. Nice and easy. Take your time. Get these little packing nuts tight don't over tighten them but it will leak water out from the handles if these indeed are not snugged up a little bit all right turn to get our excursions and sleeve on and then we'll put the handles back on Cold on the right. Get that little bugger on there. Oops, oh, let me go to the hot side first. It's hard to do this one-handed. That's a beautiful thing. Let's go get the water turned back on and see if that 
fixes the derpy shower head. Let's head back out here and get the water cut back on for the condo and see where we're at. always nice to enjoy some success especially working on these old valves such as this i'm not a big believer when it comes to luck i believe success is earned through focus surrounding yourself around the right people the right parts and the right know-how and it goes a lot further down the road than any luck i've ever known all right let's take a moment and review let's go back to the old plumbing bible that i've showed you guys plenty of times central components company now all you guys keep asking where do you get that tim like i said there is a phone number and you'll see it on the screen right now. 1-800-882-7783. Call them and ask them for one of these catalogs. If they're no longer in circulation, you can always go to centralcomponentscompany.com and you can look up all these parts that are available in this catalog. It's good to have one of these catalogs on your van because you don't always have to pull it up on your phone and you can match up those parts every single time. Back to the inside parts that we replaced and stuff. If indeed you have an old two-handled or three-handled tub shower valve and the shower head starts dripping, the more you crank these little babies down, the more it wears out those washers and in essence, eventually those little seats you saw me miraculously pull out. If it starts dripping, it's time to start thinking about getting some replacement parts for there. Now, if we weren't able to get those old seats out of there and they were bad, at that point, we would have to start realizing and considering the fact we may need to replace that valve after all. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. Listen, I work for a company in town that specializes in these old types of valves, all old plumbing. You see me riding a jackhammer, busting out old concrete and cast iron, crawling underneath trailers through attics and stuff. We specialize in this stuff. And the more that I do this over the years, obviously the better I'm getting at it. And it's not luck, like I said, it's experience and knowing what you're getting into and how you're gonna go about fixing things. Got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Until next time, don't forget to keep plumbing.